Morning guys. So one of the reasons I got the Mavic 2 Pro was because I wasn't that happy with the wind resistance of the Mavic Air. Now it was designed for travel and portability and probably not the, to be the most wind resistant thing possible because that's what like the Phantoms and the Inspires are for. But to get a little bit more performance out of it, would have been nice because it did tend to kind of shake around and not hold position it'd be like this all over the place in kind of 15 mile an hour wind it yeah it really wasn't fantastic at that i mean i was happy with so many things about it i mean the camera quality is great you get to use the dji go app instead of the dji fly app like with the uh, mavic mini the battery life isn't too bad i could get 14 minutes out of it and the range is acceptable like you know, you could get out to visual line of sight 500 meters, no problem in most conditions, unless there was like really kind of high mountains on either side of you, like I experienced in Slovakia last year. But let me tell you, I went out with this thing, the Mavic 2 Pro last night in quite windy conditions. And when I say quite windy, it was 18 miles an hour on the ground. DJI rate the Mavic 2 Pro as being okay in up to 24 miles an hour wind. Now, 18 on the ground means about 50 meters up. We're probably looking at 22, 23 miles an hour um, because I'm sure you know this already, but as you get higher up, the wind gets stronger and changes direction. So whatever you're feeling on the ground, account for an extra kind of 20, 30% on top of that, as you get further up, plus gusting, which is an absolute nightmare because that can just blow you off course in a second. So I did a bit of filming. I did a bit of hover test first, just to make sure everything was all right because I wouldn't just go straight out and endanger equipment. There were no people around, so that's not a consideration, but there are a few like birds around, so I wouldn't go kind of risking anything for a drone flight. But yeah, so I did a bit of a hover test just at kind of 10 feet, then I went up to 20, then I went up to 30, and then it was absolutely fine. I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely freezing. Like, I didn't take any gloves, which was a big mistake. So my hands were absolutely bitterly cold. I was absolutely suffering, had my coat on with my hood up. And my poor wife was out with me because she wanted to get out of the house for a bit. So, uh, yeah, she was sat on a bench, like playing a game on the phone, like huddled with a hood up, like in a big winter coat. And I was flying the drone around, like, no problem. So, I've kind of got a couple of bits of sample footage for you. I've got a panorama. I've not downloaded this yet, so let's see if it works. I did actually move the drone as it was approaching like 99%, so it might not have worked 100%. But for the drone to stay in one position, take all the shots it needs for the panorama, and for them to actually look like something and stitch together, I'm really excited to see that. So I will show you that now um, at the end of this chat about it. And then, yeah, let's see how wind resistant this thing is. From the previews I can see on the Go app, uh, it looks like dead, dead stable. Honestly, it's like there's no breeze at all. I and mean, when you see the footage of the waves breaking against the uh, shore, there's loads and loads of like sea defense around Blackpool. And if those waves just break a bit on there, it means it's pretty rough. So you can see like the white caps coming in and breaking on the kind of sea defense. It's really, really windy out there. It was probably pushing the manufacturer spec of 24 miles an hour for the whole flight. And I didn't have any problem. I did four and a half thousand meters of flight and I used up 55% battery. Considering it's been fighting the wind, I've been I went one direction down the coast, like with the wind, I came uh, back against the wind, like a couple of kilometers. Uh, like I did it back and forth, back and forth, a couple of times just to check. And then went up the other direction and then back and then up the other direction and back. I went up to 120 meters, down to seven meters. And, you know, it's been fighting against the wind for the best part of, I think it was 13 minutes I was actually flying. And, you know, if you, double that and then you've got your 10% for safety 
you know, you could get about 9,000 meters in extremely strong wind. I, I am so, so impressed by this thing. I mean, I was at first intimidated a bit because this is quite a bit bigger and heavier than the Mavic Air that I'm used to. But the more I get into this, like, this is just like the best thing I bought in a very long time for filmmaking. So if you are wondering about the wind resistance of the Mavic 2 Pro, I'll show you some examples at the end of this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've pushed it further than 24 miles an hour uh, wind and how it coped. I don't think I'll be pushing it any more than that just because it's miserable for me to be out in those conditions and shooting. And to be honest, I'm not going to get any kind of amazing footage unless there's some real, real big waves and I can get something really cool and then I might kind of consider it but it depends on the project I'm shooting for anyway but let me know what you think in the comments I'd really appreciate if you subscribe I've got quite a few more Mavic 2 videos coming up I've got some more comparisons with the Mavic Air and using the uh, Polar Pro filters and flying in different conditions um, as I kind of get on with my drone pilot journey and learning more about this and becoming a more competent pilot so thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the footage. I'm going to enjoy editing this for you. And yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs> see you later, guys.